Welcome, uh, my name is Idris, uh, once again, I welcome you to this video. Today, it's quite interesting, and uh, we're going to be looking at um, product knowledge, the specifics. I told you in one of our last episodes, uh, product knowledge is very important, and uh, this is knowing the specifics of the tourism products. And uh, today we actually handling tourism for the beginners. Guess what? We're going to talk in depth on Rwanda as a remarkable destination. And we're going to look at the three national parks in Rwanda. Uh, to start with, uh, we look at Nyungwe Forest National Park, which is in the western province of uh, Rwanda. Uh, the district is uh, Nyamachese uh, district. Um, the attractions here, we're looking at the forest itself, Nyungwe, which is a habitat for the chimpanzees. So the chimpanzees, uh, the key attraction in Nyungwe. Actually in Rwanda, this is the only home where chimpanzees are formed. We got the colobus monkeys, uh, still in Nyungwe. We got the birds. We got birds everywhere. But in Nyungwe, it has got very, very, very many bird species. Uh, we've got the waterfalls. In Nyungwe, I must say many of you have heard of the Isumo waterfall. Uh, we also have uh, the canopy belt. Uh, this could be the one in one of its kind in Africa. So very quickly, we'll take you through the uh, activities. Uh, before we go to the activities, it's very important for you to note the location of, of the national park, especially the drive time from uh, uh, the central district of Kigali to Nyungwe, about 218 kilometers, which is about five hours of drive time. But remember, the park can also be accessed by helicopter. You can fly from Kigali International Airport by helicopter, which is about 40 to 45 minutes. Um, the activities, as we all agreed, we have uh, the chimpanzee trekking. Uh, you know, they are derived from the chimpanzee, the presence of chimpanzee. We got the colobus monkey, you know, trek. So if you want to know more in detail, you know, the pricing of these activities, uh, we'll try to, you know, to share some of uh, the links in our description of this video. You probably have to check them out. Or probably, you know, come and speak to us. We'll definitely do some kind of training for you because this is what we are here for you. We talked about the chimpanzee trekking, the canopy walk. Uh, the canopy walk is, is another popular activity in the park. The colobus we talked about. The nature walk. The tea, tea plantation visit. Nyungwe you know, he's surrounded by various tea uh, plantations. Actually, there's also a tea industry in Nyungo where clients can go and do what we call the tea ceremony where the uh, clients can test, have the tea testing from crop to cup. These are some of the interesting activities. Um, the lodging, we can talk about the lodging. Where do clients stay? where they go to Nyungwe. Definitely, we have the most high-end facility, a one and only Nyungwe Lodge. It's, it's a beautiful facility so if, that you love your high-end clients to stay in. We've got um, uh, Emerude, Emerude Hotel. It's uh, slightly mid-range. And we've got Nyungwe Top Hill View uh, Lodge. It's, you know, it's another facility. Uh, basically, Nyungwe is, doesn't have more lodging facilities, but those are the three uh, facilities that would recommend for your guests probably to stay while in Nyongwe. Uh, by domestic flight leaving Kigali, that is uh, Rwanda Air, uh, leaves every early morning to Kamembe Airstrip. So uh, this is in terms of accessibility. By road, we've already uh, said that uh, you can leave Kigali uh, probably five hours and you're in Nyongwe. Uh, the other park in Rwanda uh, that we want to look at, the Volcanoes National Park. This is found in the northern province of Rwanda, Sanze district. Uh, it's about uh, 105 kilometers from Kigali. And the drive time, it's about two and a half hours. So Rwanda has got Volcanoes National Park very close from Kigali. Uh, by helicopter, it's, it's accessible and you, your clients can fly from Kigali Airport to uh, Mosanze Airstrip or probably to various lodges that have got helipads, which is about 20 to 25 minutes. So we want to look at the key attractions that are in Volcanoes National Park, which is located in Mosanze. The most desired that everyone is looking up to, you know, tourists are looking up to to get face to face, the mountain gorillas. This is the top most attraction in Volcanoes National Park. Uh, we also have the golden monkeys. So these two, the primates, the biggest attractions 
in the park. Definitely, we've got the birds. We've got the mountains, we've got the Karisimbi, there are the Mount Bisoke. We've got the Twin Lakes. We've got uh, the Dianifossi Grave. If you read through, you'll know what Dianifoss, but remember, we'll also give you uh, links for uh, these national parks and probably you can, uh, you know, in our description of this video so that you can do more reading about it. Remember, we said if you looking at learning more, please have time to read more. Tourism business is for the average people, so you must read a lot. We've got uh, the Diani Fossi Museum, we've got the local community, we call them the Ibiwachu, they are there. So let's look at the activities that are derived from the attractions that we have. So we have the gorilla trekking as an activity in um, Sanze, uh, which is very popular. A golden monkey trekking because of the golden monkey. We got the local community visit. This is um, where the, the tourists get interactions with uh, the local community, the, the Ibiwachu. We've got the Bisoke hike from the Bisoke mountain. We've got the hike to the Diane Fossi grave. Musanze care visit, all these are the activities. So very quickly we look at the lodging, you know, at the end of it all when your tourists or your clients have actually had it all in the day, so they have to go and have a rest when the dark clouds sets in. Quite a number of them in Musanze, we got one and only gorilla's nests, this is a high-end facility. Uh, we've got Vilunga Lodge, it's a very um, high-end lodge. Uh, in uh, Mosanze, we've got uh, Bisate. Most of you have heard of Bisate. These are super high-end facilities. Uh, we've got Singita Quitonda. We've got Sabino Silverback Lodge. Uh, we've got the Bishop's House. It's also a Makorosonga Lodge. The budget ones, La Payot. We've got uh, Five Volcanoes, a mid-range, a moderate facility. Uh, we've got the Mana. We've got... Um, uh, Tirelosa, Eco Lodge. All right, we're looking at our last national park in Rwanda, which is the Akajira National Park, which is uh, in the eastern province of Rwanda. This park is um, about 105 kilometers uh, from Kigali, all the way to the Kayonza district. This is a wildlife park. Uh, to uh, many of you who have been to Lake Imburo National Park, this is a reciprocal of, uh, of Lake Imburo National Park, but in Rwanda. So, We've got the, the big game in Akajira National Park. You, you, we talk about the giraffes, we talk about the leopard, we talk about the lion, the zebra, the buffalo, the warthogs, all wildlife, the rhinos, we've got all, the park has actually the big five. So when it, when it comes to wildlife safaris in Rwanda, remember the last two, they hold the primates. One has the chimpanzee and the other has got the volcanoes, has got the gorillas. So Akajara has got wildlife. The birds are there so clans can go and do the birding. And pray, probably Akajara has got so many lakes and one of the biggest lakes in Akajara got Lake Ihema. This is a big attraction as well, where boating activities, uh, fishing activities happen. So this is one of the key uh, wildlife parks that you dare visit while you, you're in Rwanda. Those are the attractions, basically the animals. But when it comes to the activities, definite. When you have game in a park, then definitely you have game drive. Someone can do a morning game drive, afternoon game drive, or probably a sunset or a night game drive to see these, to, to see the animals. The night game drives are specifically meant to spot out the nocturnal animals when they are probably very active during the nights. Talk of the leopard, the, the lion, quite a number of them. The presence of Lake Ihema, there's a boat ride, what we call a boat cruise or a boat safari to actually spot out the aquatic life. Talk about the crocodiles, the hippopotamus, even beautiful birds on the shores of, uh, of Lake Ihema. But, there is also sport fishing on Lake Ihema. Other activities that we can think of in Kigali or outside national parks, we've got famous Nyamirambo women community. People can go and visit the Nyamirambo women community group. Uh, we've got the Inema Art Gallery. This is very interesting. We've got um, Camp Against Genocide. It's another, attractions within, another attraction within Kigali. Uh, we've got uh, Camp Kigali. 
we got Christian Coffee, Parliament is also there, the Presidential Museum. So all these are key attractions that your visitor can actually complement. After a Gorilla Trek, why not visit one of these key attractions? From Nyungwe all the way to Musanze, we've got Lake Kivu along, Midist, the two parks. We've got very nice properties along that belt. Kivu Serena Hotel is there, so that is a key facility in between where your clients can stay while visiting uh, Lake Kivu where they can do a boat safari. This is very nice. Just to walk you through some of the accommodation facilities in Kigali, we've got uh, uh, Kigali Serena Hotel. Uh, it's a very nice property. Uh, we've got the retreat, high-end property. If you have that high-end client that want to be in, uh, stay in Kigali, uh, you could rather put him at the retreat. We've got Marriott Kigali Hotel. It's a very good property. We have also have a Red Sun Blue Hotel. If you're looking at other properties, we've got Shellando uh, Hotel. Uh, it's just about 15 or 10 minutes away from the airport. Mile Collins, it's, it's another property. A uh, very nice facility for those who don't wish to spend slightly so high and probably mid-range facility, I could say. So those are the facilities that would, there are so many in Kigali, but uh, uh, just for your information, you gotta have those facilities. Um, I think this is that, that's that's Rwanda is a small country, and this is what we can tell you for, for beginners to 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 wrap up Rwanda as a, a remarkable destination for your safari. So uh, uh, keep watching us. Uh, to, uh, we'll definitely give you more. Uh, we are committed to share more knowledge, and remember, it is absolutely free knowledge over for you. Tourism learning is all what we are doing for you. So thank you so much. And let me see you in the next video. Arias.